Hey you all, welcome back to Chloe Avalon. I will be taking you through a couple days in my life and those seem to be, or those seem to work the, the best for me sometimes, just to, just to take you along with me with whatever I'm doing. And right now, I'm getting ready for a date night with my husband. He just out of the blue told me, I think yesterday, I need to take you on a date. Do you want to go with me on a date? And I was like, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so I'm getting ready for that. And some of you will notice, some of you who have been with me for a long time will notice that um, my hair is really dark. It's darker than normal. Now this up here is pretty much my natural color, but somehow I just got my hair done and I wanted to get my gray covered up and just get a little bit darker, you know, kind of to my normal shade. But for some reason, it got a lot darker down here and a lot and a little bit lighter up here. So she didn't have time to change it right then and or I didn't even have time. And so I'm going to go back in uh, next week and just just get it evened out a little bit more of the color. I don't like that it looks a little bit lighter up here and like almost black down here. So yeah, she didn't, it was kind of confusing. She didn't really know why that happened. So anyways, I've got some really dark hair right now, but I always was dark anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready for a date. And hey, while I'm here anyways, I just want to tell you that um, Lemongrass Spa has an incredible joining special this month. It's only $10 to join. You don't get a lot of product with that, but you can join for only $10. And um, the requirements of joining are, like if once you've joined, you, the requirement is that you at least spend $25 worth of product every month or $50 every other month. And if you don't do that, like if you just don't order for a couple months, then they will just take your joining special away. So you can't get uh, your product for 25% off. That is the benefit to join. You can get your product for 25% off. And there is like no requirement to do business at all. It's just, you can do it if you can join, if you want um, the benefit, you know, the 25% off benefit. Uh, but if you want to do business, that is a great opportunity too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that because there is, it's a really nice special going on. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Where have you been? <laughs> in the marsh. Yeah, they've been back in the marsh actually on playing with the four, uh, the snowmobile. The snowmobile, yeah. Someone gave us, uh, just an old snowmobile, but they just gave us it. So they have been having so much fun with that. So, okay guys, I'll finish getting ready and we will go on this date with my husband. is all natural. This is from Lemongrass and it's all natural hairspray. It doesn't have all those um, bad ingredients. Sulfate free, vegan, alcohol free. So yeah, this is good hairspray. It does, I feel like, spray out a little bit more in a straight spray than I wish it would spray out a little bit broader, but I really like it. It's like, I would say it's like a medium hold, like a medium hold. It's not like this really stiff hold and also not super light. Also, I'm guessing some of you are gonna ask me about this wand. Now I had this wand probably seven, eight years and it has not gone bad on me. And I've got it, I got it on Amazon. And I'm trying to think, it says 3P on here. I think that is what it was called, like a three and a big P. Um, it's almost wiped off. Um, but, but it had two different handles or two different curling wands. And this is the biggest one. It's like an inch. I think the others are all smaller. So I pretty much just use this one. 
but it's been an old faithful. I really love it. If I can find it on Amazon, I will link it below in the description box for you to try. And then this is my flat iron, but I just got this in Costco. So this is where he's taken me, the grape tap. And it's like in this little house, which is so cool. We've never been here, so we'll let you know what we think. He's walking good. <laughs> Dinner was absolutely amazing, and it is a little more on the pricey side, but we decided to splurge since we hadn't gone on a date in a long time, and we even got creme brulee for dessert. It was delicious. had a busy day planned because we were having some company for dinner that night so I had a whole menu planned out and I got my laundry started and the school started and then I went upstairs and I started on my sourdough bread so the menu for that evening was steamed potatoes with gravy and then of course sourdough bread and then I wanted to do a whole roasted chicken so I made a brine for that. It was only in the brine for, you know, a few hours, but it still helped. And then of course a salad. And then for dessert, I made a sourdough chocolate cake that we had with ice cream. I am using these measuring cups and spoons for the first time making this sourdough bread. And I just got them from Amazon and they, <laughs> are really nice. I really like them. The way they're made, they seem sturdy. They have wooden handles and then they are this copper color and I just really like them. They just fit our log home. I'll link them below because I know how nice it is when I see something on someone else's video that I would really like to check out but they didn't leave a link and it's always kind of disappointing. So I'll make sure to leave a link for those measuring cups and spoons.
as my bread was proofing, I made a quick brine to put my whole chicken in and then I just let it set for a couple hours. Next, I ground some spelt berries for some flour that I needed for my sourdough chocolate cake. I had just enough sourdough starter to make my chocolate cake. And you know, even if I'd have just a tiny teaspoon left over, that would be plenty to put in some more flour and water and it just rebuilds itself again like that. You only need a tiny bit to rebuild your starter, which is so nice. So once I've made part of the cake recipe, I just let it sit for a while. I cover it with plastic wrap, as you can see, and then just let it sit for, you know, most of the day until it is activated. And then I put the rest of the ingredients together in it and bake it. And then here I'm just quickly washing potatoes and carrots and putting it in my steamer pot. And I'll just steam these for dinner then. Day of all days my bread didn't rise quite as well as it normally does it was still okay but it was a little bit heavier and it didn't rise quite as high as you will see at the end but it was still fine I used it that night and then I just used it for toast and for French toast I took the chicken out of the brine and I made this butter rub, butter and herb rub, like I just put a bunch of herbs in the butter and salt and pepper and just rub the whole chicken with it. And then I stuffed the chicken with a bunch of apples, lemon, garlic, onion, bay leaves, just so that it keeps the chicken moist. And then I popped it in the oven to roast.
after I got back from my refreshing walk, I finished up the cake and popped it in the oven. And then while that was baking and cooling, I made a frosting for it. And I also changed and got ready for our company. The frosting that I made was with cream cheese and some cream and a lot of chocolate chips. It's kind of a ganache and it was so good. It was such a creamy frosting. Fresh homemade bread, home-cooked meals, and friends to share it with is truly a blessing, and we don't take it for granted. We're so thankful for good friends and good food, fellowship, and family. That truly is a blessing from the Lord, and I pray that over all of you. As you wake up my soul today I feel the hope when your sun shines on my face Oh, I'll wake up with your grace While the moonlight still fading away I see your mercy coming with the day Oh, yeah My prayer is simple, God Love, have your way. This song is for the one. Love, have your way. In the easy and easy. Lord, make me more like you. My prayer is simple, God. Love, have your way. You hear my voice and you know my every need Oh, you see my hopes and dreams But you have in store far better things Time to perk up, ladies and gentlemen when you're leading Thank you Me too oh, My prayer is simple, God Love, have your way Love, have your way in the easy and the crazy. Love, make me more like you. Well, good morning, guys. It is 
a pretty chilly morning, but we all took off this morning to go ice fishing. And we're not too far from the highway. That's why you can hear the cars driving by, but um, there is this little lake here that we're gonna do some ice fishing. And I never went along. The guys have been ice fishing quite a bit um, since that is something Joas can do. Uh, there's not much walking or anything involved. And so that's what we're doing right now. And um, last night, I'm sorry, I was going to take some footage of our company and uh, just more of the food that I had prepared, but I just completely forgot after the company came. So anyways, I'm gonna take some footage of our fishing. Hopefully we get a few fish. Okay, we are all in this warm tent in here with a heater and we're all looking down in our holes. We haven't gotten a fish yet. All except me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a holy person. I'm just helping people catch fish or trying. Yeah, he's being so nice this morning and just helping everybody else. Because Justin and Ethan are doing some snow shoveling for someone, they're gonna work the rest of the day doing some uh, shoveling. So Joas took them, but Joas is coming back and now we can tell him that, hey, we got one fish at least. Chloe was the only one that caught a fish there in the ice fishing tent and we realized that we might be a little bit on the deeper part. So we decided to go outside and make some more holes closer to shore and sure enough we started catching some more fish. Got one too. Woo! My first! I finally got one. Yay! Good job, babe. Oh, yeah. Nice. Awesome. It's pretty nice. It is. Wow. Nice rainbow trout. Well, we are heading out. We caught quite a few fish, so we're pretty happy. And we're pretty chilly. As you can tell, I look pretty chilly. I don't know, I think it might be 15 degrees, if that. Um, it's pretty loud right here because we're not far from the highway. Um, but it was a good, it was a good morning. And now, since it's Saturday, we're just gonna go home, 
and just take the rest of the day um, probably take it pretty easy and relax and I think I'll stop the video here and you guys in my next video I will be on a trip so that'll be so fun so fun for me so we will see you all on the next video may God bless you and keep you until we see you again